in this Java tutorial, we will create a simple console app using my console framework. First, I will show you the final product we will create in this tutorial. It's a simple program that asks the user's name and age and prints it to the console. Now we will download the jar from GitHub using this link. The link is also in the video description. You can also download the whole project and follow along. We will add the Y console jar to our new project in Eclipse inside of a folder called jars and then add it to path by right clicking and selecting build and then add to build path. I already added mine so I don't have the add to build path option. Then we will create a new package and call it ymain and create inside of it a class called main with a main declaration inside of it. Then we will create another class called test app and make it extend y console action. Inside of test app we will extend two of y console action class method y init and do commands. Y init runs when the program starts and do commands. Run every time send button is click or enter is pressed while the text input near send is clicked. In init, the first thing we do is set yi to zero. Yi is an attribute of y console action. It's an int that is used to count stages of internal commands or orders. This will be shown later in this tutorial. YCF is short for Y console frame. It's the handle for the controls that controls the window view. O is one of those method for controlling the window view. O is short for output. O appends a string to the console in a new line. The first one appends an empty line the second, what is your name? And the last, another empty line. This will run when the program starts or restarts. In do commands, the first thing we do is to check the input by testing if yin is equals again. yin is another global attribute of my console action. It holds the last input from the input near the send button. Now, if y in equals again, call y init and restart the program. Next, if y i is equal zero, the first input that was sent, the first input is the name we ask for. We ask for the name in y init. Inside the if we print hello with the name that the user inputs, y in holds the last input, and then we ask for the user's age increment yi so the next input will go to the if yi equals one and then use return to exit the function and stop code execution in do commands in yi equals one we do almost the same print the user's age and increment yi after we increment yi no other commands will run we don't have if yi is equal to or bigger then we use return to exit to commands. This is how we use YI to control the, the program flow. You can do this in other ways. This is how I do it. To reset the program, you can input and send the string again. This will call init, which will set YI to zero again and ask the user's name again. To use all of this, we will go to main and write this line. We created the Y console frame. Its first argument is the window name. The second one is the console action or one of its inherited classes like test app. Then we use Y show to show the window. Now you can run it and use it. That's it for now. In the next tutorial, we'll, we'll create a simple calculator console program.